Okay, question three. So it's telling us the perimeter of a square has the same length as the perimeter of this triangle. And here we go, we've got the perimeter in algebra. Uh, find the expression tells you up to the length of a side of a square. Okay, so let's look at the triangle. Let's look at the triangle. And the perimeter of the triangle is, oh, I'm just going to add these up. So 2x plus 3, and then add on this side, plus 5x minus 2, and then add on the final side, plus 5x plus 3. So when I add all that up, I'm going to get 2, 7, 12x here. 3, take away 2 is 1, add on 3 is 4. Okay, so that's the total perimeter of the square. So the total perimeter of the square is that. So if you think about it, if the distance all the way around my little dodgy square, if the total perimeter is 12x plus 4, because it's a square, all the sides are the same, then I'm going to take the 12x plus 4, and I'm going to divide it by 4, because there's four of the four sides. So 12x divided by 4 is 3x, 4 divided by 4 is plus 1. So each one of these sides must be 3x plus 1, etc., all the way around. So therefore, uh, an expression in terms of x for the length of a side of a square, for one side, it's just going to be... Oh, there's a bit of a there. Uh, 3x plus 1. And that's it, we're done.